Hello guys, welcome to Settlement Survival. Welcome to another tips and guide. Hopefully you'll, you'll like these guides and they'll be sort of helpful for a beginner. So today we are looking, as the thumbnail says, we're looking at how do you get silver coins in Settlement Survival. So you need you need silver coins to produce stuff and, well not produce stuff, but to buy stuff in the trade center. Now I haven't got a trade center on my private offline game um, but obviously the trade center you need to actually purchase animals to buy stuff with silver coins you can order stuff and the next time the ship comes around you'll get your delivery so how do you get silver coins what is the quickest way of doing it and why do you need it well once you unlock unlock it you can find it in the trade area and it's the grocery store on the top left hand side it's obviously one point that you need to unlock it so once you've unlocked it you will obviously get it down in the storage area so the grocery store is here so we're going to place this there is no marker they will go as much far as they need to um, so there is no sort of limiter on it so we are going to put this somewhere where it's going to be needed well so we're going to put it right in where the houses are right there we're going to get this built up as soon as possible and basically this grocery store is obviously like like a little local shop so you you will obviously employ someone for it they will go and get the goods and put it in there for sale and all your citizens will go there to buy it and they buy it by silver coins so it's like a little Tesco Express, if you like. Um, that's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it Tesco Express. So all the citizens will go straight into your grocery store and they will buy whatever you put in there. Um, but obviously is is good. So once you get silver coins, that obviously is the bit up there that I've got at the moment, 1,100. Um, I've just put this down for the first time ever because I've only just unlocked it. Uh, but yeah. That is how you get silver coins. So we will have a quick look at it and I will show you how to put stuff in it once it gets built. That will be very soon. So yeah, the more people we have, the better it is. Um, because obviously they're spending more money. Um, and then once you get silver coins here, you can go to your trade route and go buy it. I want to purchase uh, a cow. I think cows are quite expensive actually, but you can you can purchase stuff. So here is the little shop which you can see here in the rain. So we'll click that. We've got Brenda that is doing it. Um, let's put this. Can I actually move this or not? No, I can't. So you click this here, so you can sell. So this is all your inventory on what you've actually got in your town. So I'm going to say well, 148. I'm going to put in. 40 turkeys, so required amount to trade, 40, add, that's 40 in there, so I'm going to get 40 coins there, if they all buy it obviously, goose, I'm going to put in 30, that's 30 there, spirits, always is a good thing, always get pissed, uh, 60, And obviously they will produce, when spirits is, it costs them four coins. It makes them happy. Um, but also, um, you get obviously coins for that. Uh, domestic fuel, we're, we're going to put in 50 for the minute. And that costs them two coins. Um, a lot of the stuff we don't really need to because they're never ever going to buy it. Uh, broccoli, we can put in 30 coins. That's one silver coin each. We've got 11 potato. So let's just put in two potato. And as you can see already, we've got 1290. We did have 1100. So we've gained 190 coins. Uh, wild vegetables. It also helps the birthing, if you didn't know that. Um, I didn't know that until uh, recently. Uh, obviously, the more you give them the nice food, the more births happen because they're getting their need, they're getting all the good stuff. So we're going to do 30 mushroom and so on once, once you can do that. Obviously don't forget it does actually come out of the actual warehouse side of it. This stuff here, if you put 
if you leave all this stuff in there they will just go and get it everything in your storage doesn't cost them a penny they just go and grab whatever they want if it's in a grocery store they have to pay for it that is how you get silver coins as you can see we've got 1480 so these will never ever go down it's what you put in there so you've got to have 30 of them two of them 40 and so on um, and and they will obviously use them up as you can see it's 1480 it was 1 1 when we started now it's 1646 that is how you obviously get silver coins and the probably the quickest and the best way of getting silver coins is by that obviously vegetables and stuff like that spirits is a very good thing um, but vegetables is very very easy you can just gather them there all over the place by clicking that and just gathering plants and then someone as you know if you're playing the game someone will come along and obviously start doing that it's obviously put in, it's obviously put in down a gathering place so you can put a gathering station down and then obviously they station down and then obviously they will gather but we get on that a different story so silver coins that is the best way of actually earning silver coins we've got 16.99 we're going to add some more in a minute it's going to go up it does go up quite a lot but obviously don't forget this here this is the cell items and this is how much is always going to be there they will start moaning about it if they run out of it as well um, so um, you always need to make sure there's both in both storages they normally always purchase it from the grocery store um, so yeah we just have to be careful with that but I mean, we've got quite a big storage on my safe here and obviously we've got some cows in here that is obviously helping us with never and all sorts so yeah that is how you get silver coins um, as you can see we've got 1979 now more grocery stuff more items more expenses more stuff that is quite rare like say glass for instance you put that in there that's um, 15 or 18 coins so that's a lot a bit more for that um, and as you can see they're always taking it topping it up exactly how it is so I've set it that I don't want it to go below what I put in there it has to stay like that all the time and that's what she's doing and that's what she's doing so she will take it from your storage so you need to make sure you've got actually what's a cell actually your storage um, because sometimes it'll take it from the storage they don't want to pay for it but then they can't get the goods and they moan about it so you, you need to sort of balance it out a little bit um, yeah so that's it guys thank you very much for joining me very quick video these all are um, they are just tips and guides for basic stuff if there's any other different ways you know then it's Please, please, please put your comment down in the comment section and let me know. Till next time, guys, thank you for joining me. This has been another episode of Settlement Survival, and I shall see you in the next one.